whole grain coffee or whole bean coffee as many people would call it I don't know where I got whole grain coffee from anyway whole bean coffee is perhaps another type of coffee that many people will take on the trail but what do you use to grind it up today we're gonna find out stay tuned Well, hey everybody, welcome back to SoCal Outdoor Adventure. My name is John, and as you guys may have guessed, we are in my front yard again today for this uh, beautiful, I want to say beautiful Wednesday afternoon. It's, it's clear outside, we've got a couple of clouds hitting where we've had rain around here for about the last couple of days. So it's definitely nice to get some, to get some videos in here. But for today's episode, we wanted to go ahead and talk about a particular item from GSI, and that's this guy. This is the GSI Java Press. Now, this is a very interesting product, the GSI Coffee Java Press, because what this is actually, what this is here, this is actually a coffee grinder. This is called the Java Mill. My apologies, not the Java Press, but the Java Mill. <laughs> oh man, boy, do I feel like Anyway, so, <laughs> excuse me. So the Java Mill is a very interesting product because what this actually does is that it allows you to ground whole coffee beans into this little cup here. And you can pour this cup into pretty much anything that you have that you use to make coffee. So for this type, for this example with this guy, we're gonna be using it to grind up some beans to pour into this guy right here. This is gonna, this is the Stanley Cookbox system, the French press system. So a couple of things about um, the Java Mill here. The Java Mill is made out of, uh, pl it's made out of a pl plastic hard material. So it's very tough, very strong comes in a couple of parts here so you do have the top you've actually got the handle I'll show you how the handle comes apart in a minute you've got the container which houses the, the, car, the whole beans up top here and the grinder in the bottom and then you've also got the cup now one interesting thing about this particular grinder and this is the one thing that I am very surprised that GSI does not talk about at all in the instructions I've looked on the website I've looked on the instruction guide that came with this coffee grinder and surprisingly enough it does not come with it. I'm going to show you right now. In the bottom of the coffee grinder you'll see this little guy right here, this, this piece right here and the coffee, one second, trash truck. So the one unique thing about this particular coffee grinder here is that is this is this piece right here, and what this actually does is I can actually uh, turn it to increase or decrease the intensity of my coffee bean. You see that? So I can make so if I want to make a lessly coarse ground, I can do that. But if I'm going to make a, a more coarse ground, I can do that as well. Just gotta screw right back down, and as you can see, it's going down slowly. Or if I want a slightly less grain, I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of open it up a little bit. But for this case, I'm going to go ahead and use a smoother grain coffee. And that's pretty much it right there. And of course you do have your plastic back basket in which the coffee grounds do sit in. Now, I've been testing this product out now for about the, for like the last month or so at work. And I have to say it works great. It works very well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and grind us the coffee beans. I'm going to show you how it works. And we're going to be using a Don Francisco coffee beans. Now, here's a little tip. Um, if you're going to take coffee with you, if you're going to take whole bean coffee and you're going to use this product, the best way to kind of figure out how much coffee you're going to need is to use a shot glass. And this shot glass is, is thinned out on the inside, so this will make it easier to do the coffee. So we're going to go ahead and open up the package. Kids walking around school. And we're going to go. Mm. 
good coffee too. Don Francisco Hawaiian hazelnut flavor. Very good coffee. Smells great too. I'm gonna go ahead and put what I don't use into my Ziploc bag here. So you can see it, that it's whole grain, it's not coarse, or it's not rounded up. and it goes right back in the freezer. I'm going to go and set this to the side here. We'll put it right on top of my barbecue. Okay, now before we start, let's go ahead and get Pocket Rocket going here. In case you're wondering what I'm using, this is the key titanium pot. I'm going to move this over a little bit. There we go. Now, while the water is going, we're going to go and grab up the coffee. So the way you do this, put the top back on, what you're going to do is you're going to pull this out. The knob goes on top. And then stick this guy in and you get some turns. the ground and the coffee are ready from the, from the grinder. So this thing is pretty efficient. But it does get tiring. At least on your hands. But on the bright side, especially when it's cold out here, Two 
school is pretty much a lot of fun. The drones are actually pretty much done. Oops. It didn't pop out, I pulled it out. We just didn't go a lot faster than because all the grounds are actually out of the pot here. And this is what freshly ground coffee looks like coming out of the Java press. Very nice, huh? So now what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to take the top off our Stanley pot here, French press. The grounds are going to go right into the French press. There you go. And then you pull the handle out, pull the top, back on the other end, Just take it back on this side. Great. That's the first. Luckily for me, they didn't go far. So approximately weight of this thing when it's when it's unloaded is about less than a pound, I want to say a couple of ounces, less than a pound maybe. Very simple and very easy to use this, the Java mill. Now again, as I mentioned, I've used this before at work. To round up some coffee, make my own cup of coffee at work, and it does work very well for that. See how the water is doing? Just about got a rolling boil. Put the top back on you for a few more minutes. Almost there. As I mentioned before, it, I mean, it has been very cold around here. Matter of fact, uh, we actually got some snow up on uh, Topa Topa. And it's a uh, mountain up over here this way towards and up towards Ojai area. Very beautiful. Not much, but beautiful. Okay, we're almost up to a really good rolling boil. The other interesting factor is too is that I had the coffee grinding completely um, before I went ahead and started before I started boil, before the boil on the water was boiling. So we're gonna let the water sit and we're gonna let it sit for a minute. Check the handle. Okay, the handle should be alright. Obviously, I didn't use a little too much water, but that's okay. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is compress the coffee down. Top screwed on perfectly. I'm pouring the cup here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, drop in some sugar and some cream.
12. I really need to stop doing that. You know what, two falls, so that was a good test. Two falls, dropping down. The only piece that appears to be chopped though, a little bit chipped though, is right here in the lid. But other than that though, I mean it still works. So we got the creamer. Right the lid open. Tell me you don't want some of that right now. See the steam is still coming off from the from the from the titanium pot here with a because there's still some water in it. So it's still pretty warm. Means I boiled enough water to where if you want to. You could easily make a cup of tea if you didn't want coffee. Taking a few small sips of it, it's still very good. Very good coffee. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, about the uh, GSI Java Mill. And do I think this is definitely worth the money? I mean, it's, it's going to cost you around thirty dollars to buy this particular product. Uh, there are other Java mills out there that are a little bit less expensive than the GSI Java Mill, but. In all honesty, with what with my testing, with what I've done so far, I think this is a very awesome product. And we saw that I actually dropped this thing on the ground uh, three times. There's no cracks of any kind whatsoever on, on the on both the container and the cup. And I can still, if I take take the handle out right now and plug it back in, I can still turn it. The train mechanism was working just fine. No issues, and it still pops off. So that's definitely awesome. Um, rating out of 10, one out of 10 rating. For the GSI Java Mill. Um, I say I'm gonna have to give it about, I'm gonna have to give it about a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 because I think it's a little overpriced because I've seen other Java mills online that can sell for a lot cheaper for less than twenty dollars. 
And I've seen other coffee grinders sell the fluorescent end, unless you get the battery operated one, not the hand crank one. The battery operated one tends to be a little more money because it requires obviously batteries to run the coffee, to process the coffee. But still, it's definitely a good product to have, and it's a worthy product to have if you're a fan of, if you're a major fan of making coffee and grinders. I'm going to leave some links to where you can purchase this particular product for on Amazon as well as REI. I do not have an affiliated store. This is not, um, I was not paid to do this particular review on this product. I purchased this product with my own money. So my channel is completely agenda free. If I do get a sponsor, which I have not seen yet, I will let the sponsors know that I will be cool and honest. And with this particular product in question, I actually do like it. It's a great product. And I think it will do a really great job in the woods or in my case, I mean, I've used it at work and I've, this is the first time I've used it outside in this type of environment. Actually, no, this is the second time I've used this piece out here in this environment. So yeah, all in all, the Java Mill is definitely worth it, 9 out of 10. Like I said, just the price is kind of a little bit of a downfall, it goes a little bit cheaper. I would buy it, but even at the price I tap, which is about $29.95, I believe, but not, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. That's still a very good price to purchase the job with the GSI government. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to enjoy my coffee here because it's nice and warm. And on a day like this, it's good to have a nice hot, hot cup of joe. So I appreciate you guys joining me today. Stay safe, be well, and get, get outside, have some fun, and enjoy the woods. Thank you all for joining me today in my front yard. And as always, take care. Now get outside, go out and adventure. Cheers, guys. Bye.